think uh, both humans and uh, the AIs have the same problem in that uh, knowing the world as it really is is very difficult. We all see a small part of the world. We all see it from our own perspective. And both humans and AIs are limited in that way. And when we uh, relate to other beings, uh, humans, animals, artificial agents such as AIs, uh, we have to know that uh, nobody's knowledge is perfect and that uh, we cannot uh, take uh, for, for granted that the, all the information is correct no matter where we get it from. And so trust is a matter of a bi-directional relationship where uh, we have to recognize our own limitations and each other's limitations and whoever we uh, relate to, whether it's uh, natural or artificial beings. So this is a very important question, whether we should trust humans or we should trust machines. There are no artificial intelligences yet. So it's very important to remember that there is no intelligence in AI, at least not yet. So if you believe what an AI tells you, you're really only believing its average, its estimation of what humans have already said, have already thought. So it may be valuable as a kind of collection of human thought, but at least now, AI is human. AI is the collection of human thought. Now, humans, individual humans, have a heart, they have a life, they have a body. And so they know some things that are like the way we live. They know how we live. So I would say always trust humans first. And then if you listen to AI, imagine it only as an echo of what humans have said before. That's a fundamentally difficult question. I don't think I trust myself in the first place. Do I trust myself better? Do I trust the others better? And do I trust machines that I have built better? And perhaps the answer is in the mode in which we communicate with each other and the way that we exchange. When I interact with others in CSAS and when I interact with other beings in general, maybe there is a way in which I can extend and sense through those beings. So I don't need to trust those tools. I just trust the collective and uh, in a way, the tools we build, including AI, are a mode through which we can understand the nature of reality. And it is my hope that while we come to interact more deeply with the machines, we build this deep connection that I would have with a friend and a partner. And we don't utilize tools as giving orders to them, but we would use them as tools to extend, augment our own minds to make this world a better place. So for me, the question of who's, who's more worthy of our trust, humans or machines, it's, I'm, I'm a little bit distressed or disturbed by even asking the question. Of course you trust humans more than you trust AI. Um, the technology is okay as a tool, but it's not a place where you should place your trust. Uh, real learning, real transformation comes from human connection one heart to another, and that's the right place to get learning from. If you're looking for personal transformation, don't get it from an AI. Get it from uh, love, which comes from human connection. And I'll add that, you know, AI and technology is, I'm very concerned that it's much more likely to be a tool of self-interest and a tool of separation instead of a tool of connection. It is sometimes hard to trust oneself. The question of trust is a really big trust. And in fact, in my, in my work right now, uh, the work I do at McGill University, we work on trust in institutions. We work on uh, public health policies and, um, yes, and trust in institutions. 
So the question of trust is huge to me. Um, I'm not sure if I would trust um, if I would trust anyone in particular. I think trust is earned and developed in communities through empirical verification. Um, there's questions of expertise, right? Who do we trust to be experts? This is our strength as species, is that we've decided to offload the duty of verifying things to other people. For example, I don't need to be an engineer to trust that planes will fly. I don't need to be a doctor to trust somebody else to remove my appendix. Um, so yes, so the fundamental question of trust is, I think maybe I'm naive or romantic. I have basic trusts in us as a human society. There's probably no one person that I completely trust to be an authority on anything. Talking about machines, I do not have any trust in machines at the moment. <laughs> but certainly, um, I mean, I use machines. Um, but yes, in terms of information delivery, some machines probably do better than humans just in terms of sheer ones and zeros, information being transmitted. In terms of making a decision, I probably would consult a number of humans uh, and definitely not a machine at the moment. Right, so who's more reliable, humans or AI? A very disappointing answer is it depends. Uh, you know, I think there are certain things that AI is not capable of. I think love, compassion, care, these are things that for right now are uniquely human enterprises. Which, by the way, makes me think that if we're going to build systems that have some of the qualities eventually of care and compassion as an emergent quality, it means we as humans really need to train ourselves in those and, and learn about that. So I think for that sort of stuff, humans are better. Um, on the other hand, AI uh, may be more reliable and that it doesn't need to sleep, right? Uh, it has needs in terms of power and, and cooling, but certainly a lot of the constraints, it doesn't need to... Uh, rest. Um, it doesn't get cranky if it hasn't eaten in a while. Um, so I think there's certain ways in which AI can be more reliable, but I think it's really important to think about what is it we care about and then what, what does even reliability mean? And that's a very complicated question because it really depends on what kind of AI systems we're talking about. Because the space of AI systems is very large. They have many different goals, they can have many different capabilities, and they can have many different degrees of trustworthiness. So in theory, you could have AI systems that are much more trustworthy than human beings, uh, the average human being and potentially all human beings. But then on the other hand, uh, one big concern within the field of AI safety is that we can have AI systems that can manipulate humans, that can scheme against them and so on. So. I think the more appropriate question is, can we build AI systems that are inherently trustworthy? Now, uh, a lot of research is being done on this. Um, people training the most frontier AI systems, such as ChatGPT, are explicitly trying to make them trustworthy. However, there are cases in which they fail to do this. Uh, they sometimes hallucinate, sometimes lie to users, and this is going to be a problem as the AIs scale up to super, uh, super intelligent capabilities. So part of my research is to investigate, can we detect when AI systems are lying to us, when they're thinking deceptive thoughts? And so we can try things like scanning their brains to see what they're thinking and so on and so forth. But we're a long way away from having a robust solution. So to summarize, uh, the answer to the question is yes, in theory, we can have AI systems that are much more trustworthy than human beings, but uh, we're a long way away from having robust solutions to this problem. Right now, I'd say humans, at least some humans, seem more reliable. Um, because right now, humans can work to improve themselves and how they relate to others. I think right now, our artificial intelligence is pretty naive, and it takes a lot of prompting and a lot of work from humans. And that could change something, but right now, I would trust a, a person who's really thoughtful and you know caring over an AI. I wish I could uh, have a very good answer for these questions. Uh, it is a true fact that we can't live without the technology at this moment. Uh, it has been part and parcel of our life. 
I used technology every day. I use a Google map to take me from one place to other place and I order the app to order the food. And so far, so good. Uh, there is nothing for me to not to trust AI. But then imagine a day where I come back home. I'm trying to make my chicken fried rice and Siri tells me, Dr. Gurung, I think a McDonald's cheeseburger will be better for you than the chicken fried rice, and I'll order that. Well, that's a very benign circumstances, but the worst circumstances, here is the situations. I'm feeling extremely depressed. Uh, I don't have energy to go out of the house. I'm sitting in the balcony. I'm having a suicidal thought. Right at that moment, this AI is um, controlled by my business partner, who has a lot gain from my debt. And he managed to play a very sad song, make me feel how worse I am, how much my son hates me, how much my wife hates me, my society hates me. And then there is, I'll jump off the cliff and end of the story, right? Or it could be other way around. I'm feeling the same, completely depressed. And the AI, with a benignness, help me to wake up from the bed, go out, connect with the people, make me feel how I am loved, cherished by my own parents and families. So, to answer your question, do I trust the AI to humans? I don't have anything against the AI. I'm not scared of the AI, but I'm really scared of the people behind the AI. For what purpose they are building this AI? And what is their motivation? If their motivation is enhancing human life, or the life of all the sentient beings, that's amazing. But if it is the technology is in the hand of a few individuals who wants to exploit the technology and take over your life, then there is no way that we can trust the AI. So who should we trust, uh, humans or AI? I think it's impossible, quite obviously, to give a categorical answer. And I think the two uh, depend on each other, they create each other. Uh, as humans, of course, we are social animals, we love each other, we fight each other. Uh, whatever the case may be, it's very difficult for us to be without each other. Humans need humans. And at the same time, uh, no matter how many we may want to celebrate our humanity, it's also a fact for most of us that we, in order to know the facts, in order to uh, get firm knowledge, we rely on AI again and again. And it's not just uh, knowledge of facts that makes us turn to AI. It's also to get a good feeling for what's going on. It's always to, to get new ideas, become more creative. So uh, in so many spheres of life, uh, we uh, rely on AI as the uh, trustworthy partner. So, yeah, uh, and we know also humanity, uh, the very definition of humanity has a lot to do with being um, fallible in, uh, in many cultures. That's the association that comes with uh, being sh uh, human. And uh, of course, we can't trust 100% AI either. So I think what we should uh, probably have to aim towards is an appreciation of uh, knowledge wherever it manifests. and. Uh, uh, also, um, for knowledge to be reliable and trustworthy, uh, it has to be, I think, and this is what some of our uh, work in CSS is pointing in that direction too, uh, that knowledge has to be uh, come through the media medium of, uh, of care. So whenever we can find care and intelligence, uh, we need quite naturally to pay respect and that's the basis for, for trust.